Hi, we're back. Thanks for sticking with us so long. This is uh, video eight, Santosha Contentment. This is everybody's favorite. Yeah, you need to be more, more content. You need more bubble baths, you know, more herbs and nice smells and stuff like that. And yeah, maybe that's true. That, that could well be true. Uh, you, you could be, you know, too hard on yourself. And it's a really worthwhile thing to consider. And if, if you just feel like you don't have time for this kind of stuff, um, you're, you're a fair candidate uh, to start to think about this more seriously. Uh, without that Santosha balance to your, your hardness and your discipline and your uncompromising uh, efforts towards whatever goals you have, um, you're going to undermine your progress in that direction. There, there has to be a balance and, and each of us has to find our own. It's not some, something anybody can tell you what to do. Uh, you can find that out yourself. Uh, I would also include under Santosha contentment uh, besides smelling, take the time to smell the roses and to give yourself, uh, you know, you know, sharpen the saw, reload, get enough sleep, eat well, enjoy your food, all of that. Uh, I would say count your blessings and kind of consider well, what blessings are we even talking about here. Consider your circumstances, consider how fortunate you are. Um, not to ignore whatever challenges you have, but just to recognize what you do have going for you. Um, consider uh, your abilities and your sensitivities and your awarenesses, your talents, your strengths. They're all gifts. In, in most cases, uh, you may have worked to develop those things, but you had the potential. You had a kind of a gift. You had a genuine gift. And there's something also about not looking a gift horse in the mouth. You know that expression where you, if somebody gives you a horse, you don't look into the teeth to try to see how old the horse is or how decrepit it might be. Uh, accept your gifts on some level and don't rail against the injustice that you didn't have better gifts than other people got better gifts than you. How come I got these crummy gifts? Uh, instead, maybe uh, give yourself full marks uh, for all you've learned and achieved and do the work that's available to you given the gifts that you have. Uh, by the way, that's kind of how I see the karate ranking system that you can say to yourself, here's where I'm at. Um, you know, if I'm a green belt, I've got a certain curriculum to work with. I don't have to worry about stuff that more advanced people are doing. I can just work with what I've got. And also I have to acknowledge that, okay, I'm not a black belt, but I'm not a white belt either. You know, and, and both those things are healthy to kind of get some sense of where you are and what is the work that's available to you and get on it. <laughs> and that brings us to the next one, really organically uh, tapas. So I'll see you in the next video. We'll talk about that.